Why not? Let's start as we mean to go on. Welcome back to the Elder Kings, and three revolts just fired simultaneously, so we'll deal with that first. This episode's going to be a bit of a weird one, because we're not... This is more of a planning episode, let's put it that way, because there's one thing left, really, for Felithisimir to do, and that is unite all the elves under the one banner of Elrang and Tamriel. So, it's Pyridonia, and Alanor left, because we've already taken Morrowind. And if we could secure the rest of Skyrim for the Snow Elves as well, I feel like that would be uh, appropriate. Oh, we've got a host war as well. So this episode, we're sort of going to be planning out what the best method to do that would be. But also, um, what Diedrich artifacts we want Felithismir to actually use this time. Because we're in this weird position where, although we've gathered them all up before, we've never been able to use them because Elrang needed to be uh, Dragonborn, right? Which now we actually are. We can finally use them. So I want to put together a list of... The most powerful artifacts to have him permanently equipped with. So I've got the list up. And we'll go through those in a minute. But first I've got to deal with these rebellions before they get completely out of hand. Um, after that, we'll be turning our attention to Pyrandonia and uh, Alanor. And obviously proselytizing the true one religion of Alrang. The ninth divine. Who is now aloof, I assume. Still aloof. In oblivion. Holy shit, did we... Our retinue got wiped out by... Right. This is dangerous. Send in the big boys. Uh, it's a bit of a pain. Alright, that'll do. Your iron subject, Malapan Denim. Yep. Has converted to the Oriel Faith. Oriel Faith? The Alrang Faith. Praise Alrang the Ascended. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I made the, um, the, the, the equivalent of the Pope, the head of the religion, Untamir. He is now my uh, magister, so he's out convincing people that it's actually a pretty good idea. So I've got him focusing on the holy sites for now. Because once we've got all of those, it will really help out with our uh, moral authority. And actually, look at that. The person who just converted, for some reason, holds the holy site. Hasn't given it out. Weird. Okay, well that's good for us. It means we can move him to the next province, which will be over in Moon Suite. Let's go ahead and get him proselytized. There we are. All right. I wonder what Oriel's moral authority is now. There's unfortunately no way to tell without actually, uh... Sure. Oh, yeah, we're writing a book, aren't we? Without, um... You know, converting to Oriel and checking the religion screen. But, that's not a problem. Not a big deal. How are we doing over here? Right, you guys deal with that. Let's go ahead and build some more retinues. Seeing as apparently they got wiped out by a bunch of, uh... By that adventurer's threat, right? Merge. And let's see what buildings we can build now. If there's anything different or seeing if we've got any religious specific buildings. I don't think so. I mean, I haven't added any. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm just seeing if uh, Oriel itself added anything that we're now missing out on. But I can't see anything different. Renovated tower structure. That seems like a pretty big upgrade. Maintaining mercenary band. Oh, right. Of course. Yeah. I'm so used to seeing that recently conquered modifier from the other series that it was... I got a bit scared. I'll admit it. I got a bit scared. Okay, um, let's go for... Have you reinforced around? It's not great. Military technology spread rate plus 15%. Sure, why not? Get best battle majors everywhere in that case. Uh, small guards, barracks. Sure, that's not be mine, so I don't really mind. Small hospital levy reinforcement rate. That'll do. Okay. Fortunately, we're not building them instantly anymore because we don't have the legendary stewardship of our rank. Oh, but speaking of which... Oh, shit. Okay, speaking of being ill as well... I imagine we almost have enough ardor at this point with Hermes Mora to claim the Ogmer Infinium for a second time and give it another go. I'm going to give him that Iliad Sword. Um, I've just been doing some, like, administrative work behind the scenes, converting, you know, sending gifts to vassals, converting them. That took quite a while. Uh, so I've built up a load of ardor. Let's see if anything happens this time differently. Um, pneumonia. Sure. Is this revolt still not dealt with? Come on. Go, go, go. No more war. Um, Homestead. What is Homestead? Uh, sure, yeah, you can have that. Why not? I don't, I don't really care that much. Um, who are you supposed to be under, though? Sadradar. Oh, I, I have that. Right. Uh, let's give it to, uh, try to have done my guy there. Sure, let's give it to you. Why not? I think this was the province that he had before he became emperor, right? Okay, that's done with. Let's push for peace. We've got this whole, like, um, bay area now. Is that the last Imperial Stronghold? Now, that was, if you remember, Imperial for ages. But it looks like it's Altma now for some reason. I don't know how the hell you guys got that. 
Okay, uh, is this right new? Yeah, this is right new. We'll leave this around here because they are likely to rebel. And we are mnemonic. Seems like a good time to try for the Ogma Infrinium. Let's do it. Weird. I don't know why we're getting much different options to Elrang. Maybe it's because we are already a legendary mage. I think Elrang was only a level 4 mage. And it makes me think that maybe the event was just supposed to give you the highest tier of your education. But maybe some error with it made you give you all 5. Rather than checking for which one you had, it checked for all of them and gave you all of them. So we have the option of becoming immortal. 50% chance of becoming immortal, getting mystic. Getting 0.5 health and obviously the stats. Or we become immortal, but we also go mad from reading the the Ogma. Uh, we gain also slightly less health as well. Become reckless and a lunatic. Is he that desperate to become immortal? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely he is. Have we done it? Where is, where is this trait? Where is it? There it is. Immortal. Boom. Okay, nothing to worry about. Spell of Cure Disease. Go mad. Alright. We are a lunatic, so that's going to make this interesting. Glitterhoof. King of the Snow Elves. <laughs> Alright. Who are you? You are... Oh, you're the person we actually want to succeed us eventually. The, our, our incredibly good heir. Ah. Now, we have the problem that we did want to train him to become a mage. Um, and... He's got the playful trait. We could go for diplomacy in that case. Um, intrigue isn't great. Intrigue, I, I don't ever really like training my heirs in Intrigue. Because it only plays out in plots. And if you've got no plots that you really necessarily need to do. Especially being at the top of the ladder. It's not entirely necessary. So I think we'll go for diplomacy. And then we'll give him a diplomatic guardian. Who have we got? Look at this. Legendary diplomat. Perfect. I wonder if kids can get the legendary diplomat trait. I don't think they actually can. Um, sure, here you are. I think they can only get the level 4 and then it has to level up through, like, progress and training and things like that. Uh, let's hold a grand tournament as well. Why not? It seems appropriate for this new, uh, the new crowning to go f through with a tournament. We've got a shit ton of prisoners. Still a load of undead kicking around. Sure, we'll ransom them all off. Not that we need the gold or anything, it's just, you know, better than having them sitting, dying in our prison. Can we take part in it ourselves? My liege, your guest, Mirella, has been tragically wounded during the tournament. I really don't care. Um, who's this? Your errant subject? Okay, we don't care about that. We only care about uh, our high-level vassals. So you can be absolutely trained in Marshal. And let's see if we've got a legendary commander. Yes, you are. All right, here you are. All right, sweet. Uh, those are our grandkids as well. How's House Elf Boy doing? 14 out of uh, 14 living members. Unfortunately, we actually can't rename the house because Elrang technically is still alive, and he is the uh, he is the head of the health, a head, a he, he? head of the house. So we can't customize it because you have to be there. It says there you have to be the top leadership of all the dynasty members. Bit of a shame. Um, not a big deal though. Not too much of a problem. It would be kind of a shame to lose, you know, House Elf Boy after all this time. Order of the Black Worm Uprising. Weird. Okay. Uh, we lost Trait Diligent. That's a shame. Taxidermy it. My Bretonian Palfrey shall be with me forever. We've never had this before, and I can only assume it's because we're a lunatic? Sure. I mean, we're getting 30 prestige from it, so why not? So where are these Ideal Masters? Oh, is this some here? Uh, sorry, the Order of the Black Worm, I should say. Thank you. Next rank in the Greybeards. And we received a copy of Gods and Worship in Tamriel. What is that? Learning plus one. I may ask more, I can have that. Uh, your errand subject, Mayor Bormer of Darth. Is that a sub city or something? Who is that? Great, I, I really don't care. Okay. Uh, we had a daughter born to our daughter. Holy shit. Look at this. Ten Marshall. You're a baby. You were just born and you've got 10 marshals and some of my commanders in my Geheimnis in that game. That is absurd. Um, sure. Why not? That's pretty incredible, actually. Okay. Um, well, you have a bright future ahead of you as the leader of all the armies forever. You know, I don't think... Um, oh, for God's sake, more 
rebels. I don't think uh, Thalathismir is going to be like uh, like a malicious. Okay, another another daughter. Oh no, gonorrhea, a baby. How does that work? Oh, cause right, he had it. I'm not sure that's how that works, but that's pretty terrible. You know what? I'm not even gonna question it at all. I'm gonna ignore it and move on. Um, yeah, I don't think Thalathismir is gonna be a crazy ruler. You know, just like a sort of more like a bumbling. Not necessarily idiot, because clearly he's he's incredibly smart. He has a very high learning. Uh, where is this? Sorry, where is this revolt exactly? Cult of Clavicus Vile Uprising. Where, where are you? I guess we'll never know. Oh, there we go. Right, just took a second. Stop. Invite me to plots. I'm really not interested. Uh, so we've got the King of Woodhearth, the titular King of Woodhearth. You're you're not a real king, my friend. Send us some gold, I suppose. Uh. I'm going to assume he is, yeah, he is Oriel. So they need to be above 80 opinion before you can request a religious conversion, so we won't worry about that for a while. Um, we're accidentally crushing other rebellions we don't mean to. So, let's talk about what we want to equip Felithismir with in terms of Diedrich artifacts that he's always going to have. So, from the top, we have armor. So the two armor options you have are the armor, uh, the ebony mail. And Savior's Hide. Those are the only two Diedrich armor. Now, the Savior's Hide gives 3 martial, 0.35 health, 2 combat, to your personal combat, that is, uh, 0 0.01 to your defense and 0 0.01 to your morale defense. Or the Ebony Mail, which gives plus 4 martial, plus 2 intrigue, plus 0 0.25 health, uh, plus 0 0.35 monthly prestige, and plus 0 0.1 monthly character piety so that's pretty good uh plus five to your personal combat as well and plus five to boethia's opinion in my opinion the ebony male wins that hands down we've also got another vassal king here that i've only just noticed hmm, interesting okay um yeah i think the ebony male definitely wins on that front so, I will add that one to the list. Obviously, I'm not going to go raiding Akavira and claiming all these artifacts, and that'd be crazy. I'll do it in between episodes, don't worry. Um, headgear, there's only one, and that's a Mask of Clavicus Vile, so we will try and get that when we can. Rings, there's the Ring of Hercene, which is pretty pointless unless you're a lycanthrope, because all it does is give you plus one health. Uh, or the Ring of Khajiiti, which is an increased chance of success when... On assassination, kidnapping, and theft quests, gives plus one personal combat, um, an extra 10% plot power, 0.2 character prestige, and plus four intrigue. That could be very good. Uh, then there's also the Ring of Namira, um, which gives you plus two intrigue, plus 0 0.5 health, plus 0 0.1 monthly character piety, and prestige. It's pretty good. I, I think out of the two, we'd probably go for Namira and Khajiiti there, because her scene isn't going to do anything unless we're a werewolf. The other one is the Moon and Star, but you can't wear that unless you are uh, the Nereverine, so we won't worry about that. Um, weapons. This is pretty important, because there are a lot of different weapons we've got to consider. So we've got uh, Merin's Razor, which gives uh, two martial, three combat. That's uh, personal combat, obviously. Plus one intrigue. Okay, interesting. Uh, Mace of Molag Bal gives plus four martial, plus one stewardship, plus five personal combat. Uh, Gold Brand gives plus six martial, plus five personal combat. Well, wow, that's huge. The Ebony Blade gives 0.15 character prestige, uh, plus five martial, plus five combat rating. So slightly worse than. Gold brand, but it gives the uh, combat modifier of an additional 0.5 damage and 0.5 moral defense. What else have we got? Uh, Dawnbreaker, plus 5 martial, plus 4 combat rating, so slightly worse than the previous two. The Sword of Jigalag, which I don't think we can get at this stage, we won't worry about it. Umbra, plus 5 martial, plus 6 combat rating. Uh, the Fork of Horripilation gives plus 1 to everything, but it does give you a minus 0.5. Um, character prestige. I'll put all this info up on the screen. If I if I haven't already, I I, I will do. Um, Scourge. That is the other um, Malakath weapon, right? I'm pretty sure it is. 
Marshall plus four, learning plus two, combat rating plus six, a personal combat plus six. Uh, Elton Brand, which is the hidden weapon from Daggerfall, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, no, is it Morrowind? I don't remember. Either way, um, Marshall plus six, stewardship plus two, uh, combat rating plus six. So that's actually the most powerful, but I don't know how the hell we get that. I'd have to look into how we how we get that and if that's possible. Sanguine's Rose, it's a staff. I'm not particularly interested in that. Skull of Corruption, same thing. Wabberjack, same thing. Uh, all the Volundrung. Combat rating plus seven, so that's actually the highest personal combat modifier. Plus four, Marshall. Um, honestly, I think probably Goldbrand would be up there. Uh, Goldbrand, Umbra, maybe. Yeah, I think Goldbrand. I think we'd probably go for Goldbrand in that scenario. Uh, besides that, what else is there? Obviously, necklaces are irrelevant because we've got the Amulet of Kings. We're not going to swap that out for anything. Uh, the Spellbreaker Shield, Periite, that's the only one there is, so we need to get that. And, uh, you know, there's some Miscard Fats, like a Zero Star, and the Skeleton Key. And he could potentially equip all of those. So I think that's our short list. So I think, just off the top of my head, for what I remember, Mask of Clavicus Vile, um, Ebony Mail, Goldbrand, the Ring of Namira, and the Ring of Khajiiti, right? I think that's everything. So I will make a note of that, and before next time, I'll go out and I'll grab all of those. Go and get a bunch of artifacts from Akavir. And, uh... Get Felathisimir nicely equipped. I wonder if Shagorath events will have any impact given that he's a lunatic. Never really thought about that. Maybe the Wabberjack or the, the Fork of Horripilation have other effects if you're, um... If you're crazy. Not sure. Oh well. We got another conversion there, so that's pretty good. Uh, who else have we got? We've got you here. Uh... 30, that's not going to be enough. What about you? Oh no, you really don't like us. Wow. Uh, this guy is apparently our vassal, but he should be under the rift. Oh, we have the rift? Okay. Uh, well, we'll give it to you and then demand conversion, I suppose. Uh, unless you're zealous. No, why won't you convert? Oh, you already are. Elrang, right. Well, by all means, here you go. The rift. I just want to see what other duchies we've got to give out, because that's an easy way to get people to convert to you. Uh, dis. So, your Bosma... Aliad, who you are, you can have this, which increases the opinion of us by 50. Then we can request a conversion. And he said, yes, perfect. All right, what else have we got then? Um, Anselvund, where is that? This one here? And nobody has that. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I remember. This was a mess, wasn't it? We're going to grant him Anselvund and he'll just become a separate vassal. But he does have two provinces, so it's not too bad. Uh, request conversion. Thank you very much. And do we have anything else? Oh, we have quite a few, actually. Winter Hold? We have Winter Hold? Why do we have Winter Hold? Wait, winter Hold? As in the place with the... As in up here? Why do we have that? Weird. Uh, well, that's not relevant then. Uh, White Run as well, but we shouldn't really have that either. And uh, Stella Dillard's the Imperial Isle. Okay. Right. Well, let's start with some of the administrative side of things. We've sorted out a few things here and there. This guy is still Am Civi. How has this happened? Can we bribe him to, uh... He's got 100 opinion. Surely... All right. Aha! Finally, we got rid of the Am Civi. What about you? Um... Now, I'm going to assume, just out to test it, I'm going to assume our tributaries, we can't request their conversion, can we? No. Uh, can we send him to convert them? No, unfortunately not. So it's only provinces are in land. Certain religions do allow you to proselytize bordering provinces, uh, but I think that's only reformed versus pagan religions, if I'm remembering right. Wow, we can actually study tech as well. We'll go to the tribunal temple for that. Okay, well, the real question is, what do we want to do about Pyrandonia? Because they are ideal masters. Um, I was just going to make them my tributary, obviously. Establish a tributary state and have them, you know, do their own thing. But unfortunately, they are also ideal masters, which I'm not a big fan of. Maybe we should just sweep in on them. To just take a barber straight away. Holy shit, look at all the artifacts he's got. Well, that would help me well on my way to, um, to all of those, uh, Diedrich artifacts anyway. Let's do that. Okay. Um, Inquisition against a barber. Sure, why not? 
And let's go ahead and search for a scholar. Now, we wanted... What was it? The Ebony Male. Who has the Ebony Male off the top of my head? Boethia, right? Boethia. Boethia. You are beginning with B. Let me go back to the start. Here we go. Right. Let's convert to Boethia. Sorry, Hermes Mora. I don't think we need to worry about you anymore. We're already immortal. Uh, we'll pat the kitty. And we'll strike at some bandits. Now, I'm, I'm not obviously not going to actively go raiding again or anything like that. But if we do have some artifacts, there's no harm throwing them at Boethia while we can. Just getting the artifacts necessary. Wounded? That's fine. Job well done. Good work, team. Is everyone going to the Imperial Isle? Certainly looks like it. Okay. Noriel Peasant Revolt. Where? Corey Sillamore? Sounds like someone I went to school with. Where is this? Oh my god, that's miles away. Uh, 4,000 men. Yeah, I'm sure that would deal with it. Okay. There is much about Hermes Mora I'd love to learn. Ah, uh, close enough. Let's hope we don't get that glitch again where it um, doesn't detect which uh, Deidre we want. Well, we accidentally run a, won a war we didn't want to. How are we still getting uprisings at this point in time, honestly? Still Hermes Mora? That's a little bit annoying. Alright, thank you very much. And Betrothed can marry. That's our granddaughter? Yeah, apparently so. Um, can we try that Boethia event again, if you don't mind? Search for Diedrich Scholar. Search for Boethia. Let's go up here. Where are all our boats? Is that all the boats we have? Even now? We still don't have enough boats for all the troops. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to have to split some armies. It's a little annoying that we're still um, Hermes Mora. Maybe that's maybe that's for the best. Try again. It refreshes at the start of every month. No, I think we are stuck now with Hermes Mora, unfortunately. Uh, what if we give up our secret cult and then try again? Renounce secret faith. And Boethia, right. Uh, Abarbus actually sent troops over to us. Thank you for that. Makes my job a little bit easier. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll split this between... Yeah, I th you know what? I think two stacks of 15,000 is pretty good. In fact, you can even get on the boat. Let's see if that's worked. And we are now... Still Hermes Mora. No, unfortunately it doesn't work. Oh, well. Now let's head to... Should we have those 4,000 stacks? Sure, why not? And you got the boat. Let's head down to Pyandonia. And we will leave our... Retinue down there? Oh, actually, I'm not sure. Look at the amount of walls that are breaking out. Again, they're not relevant because they're just small little rebellions that we can kill pretty quickly. Um, they're just more of an annoyance at this stage. So we can beat them in one attack. In one battle, we can win this. So it's not a challenge or anything like that. It's just a little bit inconvenient at this point. And where are you again? Imperial Oriel Revolt. Oh, you're, you're there. What if there's troops? Did I accidentally send them up? That was silly. Okay, you head down there then. Deal with that. Um, you can come back here. Okay, and um, meanwhile... Let's just boat bomb the capital. You know what? I want Fella Thysimir leading these. Oh, he is already. Perfect. 31%. 39%. And we'll go up in the graveyards as well. Okay, right. So we've got... The monument event. This could go badly, but we'll try it. 1,337 gold to build a giant monument in the city. Let's go for it. And who is this? Who are you? Uh, another grandchild. Uh, you can be educated by a mage, I suppose. Uh, who is a good mage? Oh, me. Okay. That'll do. Alright, how's that war here going? So we do need to move these troops straight back up. I could have split the stack, to be honest with you. So that we could also deal with... Uh, the troops of Barbas are sending over, but it's not, again, not a big deal. Okay, they're dealt with. Story about my aunt. Ah, oh. I mean, I don't think you had an aunt. Did you? Nope, definitely not. Okay, then. <laughs> well, I guess that's one for, uh... I guess that's one for Hermes Mora, eh? Or whoever I finally end up worshipping. Okay, how are we going over here? Like I said, now we've got a list together, I can start um, working on that off-camera. Ooh, did we get the Holy Site then? 
Moon Suite? No. No, no, no. This guy probably won't accept any conversion requests. Chief Gem Cutter? Give him more honorary titles. Master of the Blade? Bring this man before me. We've got a eunuch. Nice. Oh, we could give him an artifact. Hang on. Plus 18. 73. We've given him another artifact. Story about my aunt. He doesn't want that. Uh, Daedricama does want that. An amulet. No. Um, I've got an idea. Hang on. We cast a beneficial spell on him. How about fortifying his... Uh, is it prestige? Increases by five. And we'll cast fortify prestige again. It's nice to see them fix that. And religious conversion. No? What do you mean? What do you mean no? Why can't I... Uh, is he zealous? Not zealous. Maybe it's because we're in the middle of a war. We'll wait till after the war's done. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Um, unsurprisingly, this is taking quite a while. Uh, they are in this Imperial City, actually. We should probably head over there. Tech advances. Let's go for trade practices. Why not? What is it? The statue of the is a bigger version of her. Right. Oh, because she's proud. I should have spotted that. Tear it down. What a fool. Should we put in her place? We're going to have her <laughs> assassinated? Well, I suppose she did take a thousand gold from the treasury to build a statue of herself. That's probably a good reason. Have we got any other rivals? Okay, we do have people uh, we should probably deal with. Class sword. Let's, um... She's in our court? Let's have her killed. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you did. 25th Imperial Revolt. Whew. My reputation is ruined. Oh, no. What a shame. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. The whole of Ababas. So what we want to do now is give this to uh, Witcher Castles. It's kind of hard to tell with some of these tile sets. This one is, for some reason, already Elrang Divinity. Weird. Your ideal masters, though. Can't be dealing with this. So let's go ahead and search our... It's been a while since I've done this. Search realm for my religion, my culture, and not a ruler. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, wait. He's a eunuch. Okay, we can't give him land. You, though, you can definitely have land. Abarbus, it's all yours. Now, what we want to do is keep... Whoops. Well, those are boats we're never getting back. We want to keep our... I was going to say, do we want to keep our retinue over there? But to be honest, given the state of the rebellions right now, it's probably not for the best. Let's, um... Let's assign you a guardian. Let's assign you a guardian. Uh, whoops. Assign him a guardian. What is he? Marshal, right? No. Assign him a guardian. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there, right, you can educate him. Who is he, anyway? Oh, he's my son, right. Fair enough. Um, I don't know why we can't mark our grandson as our heir. Oh, because it has to be our direct children. That's annoying. Oh, well. It doesn't matter too much. It's not like we're going to die anytime soon. At least I doubt it, unless we get assassinated. Get, like, counter-assassinated. It's possible, to be fair. We have a lot of vassals that don't like us right now because of the whole religious uh, upheaval again. I hate this event so much. I really like the way CK2 Plus deals with that event. Instead of making them your rival, you just, uh... They just dislike you a lot more. They get the trait, uh, push me too hard or something like that. Competition's ruined. I don't think it's an issue. Just don't get caught. Just have to try again. Good God. Uh, who are we at war with anyway? Oh, this 25th Imperial Revolt. I remember. Uh, sure. Alright, let's go. Call of Amina. Brilliant. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Where's the Cult of Amina? Uh, are you crazy? Where are you? Oh, you're there as well? Okay, well that makes my job much easier, doesn't it? Are we finally going to kill our rival? All these attempts. Oh, what a shame she's dead. Who's next on our list? It was you. That's what you get for building a giant statue. This one's going to be way more impressive. It's a much more impactful death. This is what you get for stealing 1,300 gold. Um, yes, you. 97 gold, join the plot. 
Uh, you may also join. It's fine, I don't mind bribing vassals just anyway. Now, we did want to resurrect the Chimer in Morrowind, but that may be a very difficult process short of conquering Morrowind. Don't really want to conquer it. I'm only conquering, um... I'm only conquering Pi and Donia because they are ideal masters, and, you know, we know how we feel about that. Oh, someone said in, uh, in the last episode, change it so Arang dislikes ideal masters. I have to change that still. I, I removed the arm civvy, but I had to make a new one that's, uh, dislikes or, or likes in his dislike box ideal masters. There's actually no flag for that. Turns out there are no, uh, Daedric Princes in the, in the base Elder Kings mod that, uh, dislike the ideal masters. So, I will code that together for next time. Oh, that was quick. Wow, we're already assassinating her. Oh, shit. Now she knows we're trying to kill her. Again, yeah, we do have to worry a little bit about cancer assassinations, but not too bad. I'm trying like three times a month to kill her. Uh, let him rock. I don't care who he is. Snake. Suppress the rebellions. Great. Perfect. Plot's revealed. <laughs> shit. Okay, let's have a look at our rebellion map mode while we wait. And see... It's all Skyrim now. Argonia seems to have settled down a lot. So, let's get the Marshal up here to enforce martial law. That's already uh, helped out a lot. The question is, do we value holy sites over religious conversions so we stop getting religious revolts? Not hugely. By having more holy sites, we're at, wow, this guy's got a lot of potential. By having more holy sites, we're going to reduce the amount of religious revolts anyway just because we have a higher moral authority. So... I think we'll stick to keeping um, the head keeper down in Senchal. This woman is just not dying. And oh, we had an ideal master. Is this uprising in... Uh... Huh. I'm sure we can beat that, right? 2,600 battle mages versus a bunch of skeleton boys. Doot doot. Is that war over or not? She did not drink the wine and my complicity was discovered. If I was her, I would I would never visit any pubs. I would never get in a carriage. I would never go to sleep. We're gonna get her this time. For fuck's sake! <gasps> All right, we are now a master of the way. That's weird. It seems like Elrang learned the through much much faster than uh, than fellow Thismir. Seeing as he's Dragonborn, you'd expect that not to be the case. And once we've dealt with our rival, we can move on to uh, assassinating the king of. Pi and Donia, so we can start bringing that under the kingdom. And then we'll make a tributary out of Alanor. And then you know what? We've we've united the Alvin people. We've done it, finally. It wasn't just about resurrecting the aliens, you know. It was about making sure that all the other elves were subservient. And, you know, knew who were the best elves. It was all like a racial crusade. That's what I'm saying. Those things are death traps. Still not dead. Right, you're really getting on my nerves now. Dark Brotherhood. We're good. They wounded her. That's a start. She's stressed down wounded. She's probably stressed from, you know, not being able to drink or sleep or travel. This is ridiculous. Is this a glitch? We're we starting at a glitch at this point. Some hired muscle? Sure. Nope, nothing. Dark Brotherhood? She might just be untouchable, you know. Sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, <gasps> that she did it. Brilliant, okay. And we weren't caught either. Got a new steward. 31 stewardship. Look at this council. This is a ridiculously good council. Um, why is this war not ending? Can I... What? Uh, what? Leading troops in Kavala. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no. No, I, I'm sorry. That's my mistake, obviously. I don't know what I was thinking, not realizing that he would be leading troops. There, of all places. Uh, I need some boats. Can I borrow some boats? How many boats do we need? About 30 boats. Uh, let's just do that. 35 boats. That'll do. You guys go to Alavis. Have we got any more troops still standing? No, just retinues. Okay. Let's go and put this wall down. Oh, sweet. Okay. That was a good work from the marshal there. Now let's move him over to the next province. Uh, let's have a look at the revolts map mode here. 
And we need to invest in tech. Somebody say magical training? Yeah, why not? So we're done with this war, then we'll wrap it up here for today. Now I've got my, uh... Again, this was meant to be just an episode where we discuss what artifacts to use, but I sort of came to that conclusion much quicker than I expected. Um, if you've got any comments, suggestions for the series, as always, keep them coming. But I think we are coming to definitely the end of the playthrough of the Outer Kings now. It's been great. It's been a really fun playthrough, actually. We've got some really cool stuff done. And I quite like some of the uh, custom events we uh, came up with. That was pretty fun. But I think at this stage, we are genuinely untouchable. I've got one idea in my mind. Like I said before, involves, potentially, the Sunset Invasion. Um, some custom events revolving around that. This is a risk, but I'm going to do it. You've decided to introduce a new law to the realm. The Turnip Act, the Pants Act, the Hole in the Wall Act, or the Cessation of Violence Act. How about the Hole in the Wall Act? The new law has been written and your couriers are now distributing it to all of your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas the positive effects of fresh air are known to all, and whereas the movement of the wind must not be obstructed by handmade structures, therefore I, Marloran, follow this mirror of Tamriel, decree that all homesteads throughout the realm are to have two holes, each no smaller than a grown peasant standing arms outstretched in opposite walls facing each other to allow the free passage of the wind. These holes are not to be covered by planks, doors, windows, or cattle. If any member of the household is known to exhibit severe flatulence, the holes shall number three and no less. It's law being salvation to the realm. All vassals' opinion lowered by five. And we won. <laughs> Good work. All right. That'll teach you how to do, Masters. And you guys head back to Abarbus. <coughs> and we will call it there. Like I said, a few more episodes. So if you've got any gr great ideas that I can uh, get together, then I will absolutely do that. <coughs> In the meantime, I'll work on getting those artifacts. <coughs> oh no, don't joke, right at the end of the episode. And uh, we'll see if they've got anything unique about them once we've actually equipped them as a Dragonborn. I'll see you next episode. Ah! <coughs> Help. <coughs>